all right hello everyone okay so let's solve more problems so this is an improper integral type 1 improper integral because on the upper limit you can clearly see infinity okay so what we do is we we are going to replace that infinity by a letter t and we let limit we let t goes to infinity we take the limit of this finite de definite integral okay right now let's see now if you want to integrate this function 1 over x ln x you have to use integration by substitution now the reason is that if you i'm going to choose my u to be ln x because the derivative of u with respect to x is going to be 1 over x so from here i can see that i'm going to find dx dx is going to be x du now why did i use um integration by substitution because um, you can see when I replace ln x by u and dx by x du, it's going to give me an easier integral to solve. So see it for yourself. I'm going to replace everything. So it's 1 over x, ln x is u, dx is x du. So we know x get cancelled out. So what we have left to integrate with is just we, just we just need to integrate 1 over u, right, with respect to u. So that's an easier integral. All right, so the substitute ln x and its derivative existed, exist together in the same integral. So that's why I use integration by substitution. Okay, so if you want to check out my integration by substitution videos, check them out. Okay, in those videos, I explain how we can use integration by substitution and when we use integration by substitution. All right, so let's get back to this problem. Now we need to integrate one over u with respect to u. And however, since we change the variable from x to u, we have to change the limits as well. So this limits belong belongs to x. Now when x is equal to five, what's u? Well, when x is equal to five, u is going to be ln five, right? Because u is ln x. So this is going to be ln five. So when x is equal to t, what's u? It's going to be ln t. And you're going to let limit when t goes to infinity. You're going to find the limit of this when t goes to infinity. All right, so let's integrate. Now, if you integrate 1 over u, you're going to get ln absolute u. Okay? And you are taking the limit of this when t goes to infinity. And you have to evaluate ln absolute u at ln 5 and ln t. And you have to subtract. So let's see what we get. So limit when t goes to infinity. Now ln absolute u, let's substitute ln t. So it's ln ln t. Okay. Minus it's ln absolute ln 5. Okay. Right. Now we just need to find the limit. Okay. So when t goes to infinity, ln t that goes to infinity as well and ln infinity is also again when the ln values when t gets large they becomes large so it's going to be infinity as well so this answer didn't it doesn't even matter it's, this is finite so it's going to be infinity minus ln ln 5 this is going to be the limit so it's infinity so um this integral, the, we get the limit as infinity. So this is a divergent, divergent integral. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's see another example. All right. Here's another improper integral. In the lower limit, we can see negative infinity. So this is a type A1, type 1 improper integral. So let's rewrite this. We're going to replace negative infinity by a letter T and we let t goes to negative infinity and it's 3 here it's 1 over 1 minus 3x in, we have to integrate with respect to x so let's see what we get so if you integrate 1 over 1 minus 3x you're gonna get natural log absolute 1 minus 3x but you have to divide by negative 3 don't forget that okay so if you are integrating 1 over ax plus b with respect to x what you get is ln absolute ax plus b you have to divide by the coefficient of x as well okay right and then this is the definite integral you have to evaluate this at 3 t goes to negative infinity my bad you have to evaluate this at 3 and t 
all right so let's see what we get so limit t goes to negative infinity let's substitute 3 so it's going to be ln 1 minus um, 3 times 3 is 9 over negative 3 minus ln absolute let's substitute t it's 1 minus 3t divide by negative 3 so that's what we get okay so ln limit when t goes to infinity 1 minus 9 is negative 8 absolute value of negative 8 is 8 so it's ln 8 over negative 3 here negative negative plus it's ln absolute 1 minus 3t over 3 now when t goes to negative infinity i always keep forgetting negative um, in the limit all right so let's use a different color so when t goes to negative infinity 3t is going to be extremely large in negative sense or in going to be extremely small they are going to be negative numbers um, small negative numbers okay so small negative numbers subtracted so they become positive so inside it's going to be a large number when t goes to negative infinity also think about this if you substitute negative thousand here for t negative here and negative thousand will become positive so it's like actually one plus three t for large positive t values so inside will get extremely large or inside inside the natural log will go to positive infinity okay so try to understand this so 1 minus 3t will go to positive infinity when t goes to negative infinity so inside natural log it gets extremely large so natural log gets large as well so overall this goes to infinity so what do we get here um, so if the limit is going to be ln8 over negative 3 plus infinity so the limit is altogether going to be infinity so this integral is a divergent integral okay divergent improper integral because the limit is infinity it's not finite okay all right okay here's my next example problem now this is again an improper integral because we can clearly see there's infinity in both limits actually so what we can do is first we have to separate this integral i'm going to separate and write this integral first integral as going from negative infinity to zero so i'm going to break the uh, integral at zero okay when x is equal to zero this function is still continuous so we have no problem of breaking the integral at zero so so it's 1 over 1 plus x square plus the next integral now you're going to go from 0 to infinity okay nice now let's use the definition and rewrite this improper integral so i'm going to write limit t goes to infinity negative infinity actually let's replace negative infinity by t and write the first integral and the second integral limit when b goes to infinity and replace infinity by b all right so now we just need to integrate these two functions we just need to integrate one over x square in fact so if you integrate one over x square what you get is tangent inverse x so t when t goes to negative infinity this is going to be tangent inverse x going from you have to evaluate tangent into as x at 0 and t plus here limit when b goes to infinity this is again tangent inverse x and you have to evaluate it at b and 0 okay right fantastic now what we have to do is you have to evaluate this tangent inverses at the given value so let's first evaluate tangent inverse at 0 so it's tangent inverse 0 minus tangent inverse t so i evaluated tangent inverse at 0 and t and subtract so that's for the first part and for the second part it's going to be limit when b goes to infinity this is tangent inverse b minus and this is going to be tangent inverse 0 okay great now what's tangent inverse 0 tangent inverse 0 is 0 actually okay so this is 0 this is 0 so what's left is limit when t goes to negative infinity it's minus tangent inverse t plus limit b goes to infinity tangent inverse b all right now at this point i'm gonna draw the tangent inverse curve okay so it's gonna look like so here's our xy plane the tangent inverse curve is something like this there are 
two horizontal asymptotes so here's how we draw it okay let me finish it all right so there are two horizontal asymptotes one at negative pi over 2 and the other one at pi over 2 and you can see tangent inverse 0 is 0 okay so that's that's um, also verified from the graph okay now let's see now you want to find the limit when b goes to infinity limit of tangent inverse so when b goes to infinity okay so when this goes to infinity the graph approaches to as you can see it approaches to pi over 2 okay so here the limit is pi over 2 when b goes to infinity limit of tangent inverse b now what happens when t goes to negative infinity what the what's what's the limit so when t goes to negative infinity that means when you are moving to negative infinity the graph approaches to the second horizontal asymptote the lower horizontal asymptote which is negative pi over 2 so this guy is negative pi over 2 there's a one negative here also it's negative times negative pi over 2 okay all right so what does this gives us so negative negative positive so pi over 2 plus pi over 2 which is pi over 2 plus pi over 2 is pi so the value of this integral is actually pi and it's a finite number pi is a finite real number so this integral this integral is not divergent convergent it's a convergent integral okay the limit exists okay all right so those are the examples.